Hey, what's going on guys? Victor Chambers here back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back on this channel. I bring you up close and behind the scenes on my journey as a notary loan signing agent. Consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and also hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload brand new content. So in this video, I want to go back to the basics a little bit and uh, reiterate something that I've talked about on this channel before, and that is about how to package correctly and ship loan documents now i think this is important to talk about again uh one because apparently it's still happening and two uh because it's important for the the loan documents that you assist borrowers uh buyers sellers with signing uh, that they make it back to their destination completely and safely so i wanted to just make this video to reiterate um, how to correctly package um, and ship loan documents um, and what kind of prompted this as well is that the other day I received a signing um, and the <clears throat> title company uh, not only did they provide something in the loan package that uh, mentioned uh, how to correctly package and ship loan documents but I actually received a call from them uh, and they wanted to make sure that I followed those instructions uh, before I actually ship those documents so um, clearly um, some notaries are making the mistake of not correctly shipping documents um, properly um, and so these title companies and lender servicing companies are having some issues with with notaries correctly uh, shipping loan documents so I want to read the exact notice that I uh, that I received uh, in a loan package um, and I'll just tell you exactly what it says I'll put it up on the screen uh, as well it says we are experiencing an extremely large increase in packages that are being sent back to, to, to the client that are not the full complete executed set of docs they are missing documents please provide a full provide a photo of the full set of docs with the envelope and label being used prior to dropping we need this for backup proof for FedEx issues, if the title company states docs are missing, your fee will be reduced. We need, we now need to use the following packages to ensure full and com a full and complete set of docs is being returned. Um, and then they kind of give some pictures here of what exactly to use. So I want to actually do uh, kind of a, a real demonstration of of what I do um, all the time. And this is specifically. Uh, with regard to FedEx, you can obviously use this method for UPS if you have the same, uh, same, uh, if you have the UPS versions of, of this supplies. But I just kind of want to walk you through uh, exactly how uh, I do it every time I ship loan documents. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first, I'll show you each and everything that make up the entire uh, shipment. Um, obviously, you have your loan documents. So I don't have a set of documents here, but you understand that you're shipping loan documents, right? Um, first is this pouch. Um, this is the pouch where your label goes in. And so, um, you know, I'll actually put, put this on a package here shortly and actually walk you through how to do it. But this is the pouch. Again, these supplies are free uh, if you open up a FedEx.com uh, account, but these are definitely what you need. Can you get by without having these? Um, I would say yes, um, but you'll probably just have to tape the actual label to to the outside of the package um, so that it doesn't, uh, it can't get ripped off or anything like that. So that's what you need. That's called a small pouch, I believe that is. Um, the second thing you need is this large pack. So this is a plastic pack. Um, it says it's reusable. I don't know if anyone actually reuses these, but it's called a large pack. Um, it's plastic. It has two adhesive strips here. So um, to allow you to securely close the loan package. So um, yeah, you need those again, free at FedEx.com. And then, and that's like, a, it's large, so it can fit legal size papers. I think they also have small, which can fit letter size papers. I just use legal size for everything. Um, this is a reusable envelope, they call it. And again, this is a, a legal size envelope. Um, whether I'm shipping packages that just have letter or have mixture, I always just use this size. So I have to use, so I use the same thing each and every time. So this is the reusable envelope. Um, this is where the loan documents go inside of here. And then this has again two adhesive strips okay um alternatively what you can also use is these padded envelopes um i have a bunch of these but i don't really use them um, and potentially you could put the loan package inside of like a manila folder and then put it in here and then seal this up um, this is pretty durable it's padded um, so it gives some protection um, and then you would put 
you know, this on here, but I don't really use this. So let's toss that. Um, so let's walk through a, a live demonstration, right? So the first thing is, let's just say I have a set of loan documents, right? This is just a few sheets of paper. I'm going to put it in this envelope. And I know this is very basic stuff, but I think these are the things people actually need to see being done um, so that you have an example of actually how it's how it's supposed to be done. So I put the documents in here. You can see they're in there, whatever, just a few papers. Um, and then I would just, you know, close it up, seal it up. Sometimes if the package is too thick, you won't be able to actually, um, the bottom one won't actually adhere. So I sometimes don't rip that off. I just rip off the top one and then fold it and close it. Your loan documents are in here. Now, what, what some people do, which I don't recommend at all, is they'll stick this to this and or like that and then they'll ship it like that. I don't recommend that. Um, and the point of what these title companies and uh, settlement companies are are saying is that these packages alone without any additional additional protection are getting damaged so I don't recommend packaging in this way at all I don't recommend it I know people do it but I personally don't recommend it um, it's just too too risky this this here can bust open the documents can spill out and go everywhere and then you know you're just kind of it's a bad situation <laughs> let's put it like that so bringing back our large pack Again, you have this, um, and then you have your, your label. So again, just take, peel this off and put it on there like that. See, it's on there like that. And then you take off the other half of the piece. You take off that piece of there, and it's fully adhered now to the package, okay? And then let's just pretend this is a label. You just fold it this way. You're gonna open up this purple side here, this purple piece here, and you're gonna just slide it in there, okay? <clears throat> now I know this probably looks a little awkward because I'm I'm actually doing this on camera, but whatever, I think you're getting the point. Um, so you're putting it in there like that. It's in there, this is where the label, all the shipping information would be, where the package is going, and then just drop this down and make sure it, it adheres like that. And then what I do is take I take the cardboard or paper, whatever you want to call this, envelope with the loan documents. I stick it inside of there. So now it's in there. And then I'm taking these off here, these adhesive strips, and I'm closing it. Bottom one first, and then the top one. And close it. And now you have a very secure loan package. This is closed in here. Um, the, the loan documents are inside of the paper or cardboard envelope, uh, but also inside of this plastic and they're protected, they're sealed. Uh, now, if something happens to this in transit, then um, it's just insane if, if that gets damaged or ruined in transit, but um, it shouldn't. So that's how I recommend actually packaging um, loan documents and preparing them for ship uh, shipping. Again, um, when I when I ship documents through UPS, I do the exact same thing. UPS has similar bags or, or plastic pouches to that uh, as well, the large ones. Um, I, I have never seen the, the clear plastic label pouches. They probably do have those. I've never seen them. So in that case, I just always have like some clear packaging tape in my car and I'll uh, tape the UPS label uh, to the outside of the the large plastic UPS envelope and again the documents go inside the, U the cardboard UPS paper and then inside the plastic just like I showed you there uh, for FedEx so I hope that's that's helpful um, I felt it necessary to kind of reiterate this to you guys to to help you out if you're you're shipping loan documents um, but again I always ship my documents this way um, and I think it's the best way um, so I uh, just wanted to share that with you again a lot of notaries are making the mistake of not shipping documents back the right way uh, and it's causing issues so I hope this quick video was helpful again don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one peace